crown upside down. That's what my I mom mean, used to say. It works every time. <laughs> I mean, it really does. And I had a smile today because oh, I saw yeah. the sunshine. I know it's so January. Nice. We expect the cold, but it was right. It was a fair day. I liked it. Right. Actually, the weekend was really nice. We had a lot of sunshine. You're able to get out and about for sure. It wasn't terribly cold, as you mentioned, but yeah. January cold. It's what we expect, right? You see the mostly sunny skies there over Winston-Salem. We are going to notice some clouds coming in here, and there is a bit of a change on the way. It does include a little rain. We've got some rain in the forecast on Monday. Then we've got seasonal temperatures out there this week, and it looks like our next best chance of rain may not be until the weekend. Now, your bus stop forecast tomorrow morning as you send those kids off to school with a smile. You've got drizzle possibilities, temperatures in the upper 30s. Make sure they've got a rain jacket. They may need it because we will have some spotty rain showers around. Temperatures are in the upper 40s tomorrow afternoon. They're seasonable all week long, upper 40s to close to 50. We've got dry skies for Tuesday, slight chance of rain on Wednesday, and we're going to see some clouds passing through on Thursday as well. The high this afternoon was right where we should be, around 50 degrees. Now we're dipping down into the 30s. So we've got 39 in High Point, 37 in Lexington, and 38 right now in Moxville. We're right at freezing for Sparta and Galax. We're definitely going to watch those temperatures in the mountains because we do have some moisture coming in. This will likely all fall in the form of rain for most everyone. The exception could be the highest elevations and west facing slopes in the mountains where you may have at least a few snow flurries mixed in. But you notice there's not much snow out to the west. This is just very light rain and that fast moving weather system. We may have a little light rain as early as tomorrow morning. Wet roads with temperatures in the mid 30s in both the foothills as well as the Piedmont Triad. We're down to 34 in our foothill communities. 30 32 in the mountains. Just be careful. Watch for some slick spots. Don't expect that to be widespread at all. We do have a little bit of rain in here on the map. You notice it coming in with temperatures in the mid 30s tomorrow morning. That's about nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Still some very light rain. Even up around lunchtime, we're looking at some moisture kind of pushing through. Those showers should start to wind down tomorrow evening and they'll be moving out. So we don't expect to see a whole lot of rain with this. Maybe a trace, maybe a tenth of an inch, but it's very light rain and yet you might just uh, need to have an umbrella or maybe a rain jacket because it's going to be pesky out there. 49 for a high tomorrow afternoon. This is your 12 hour forecast. You're going to see temperatures in the foothills that by 3 o'clock are also in the upper 40s, close to 50 degrees. Spotty rain chances in the mountains as well. Temperatures will be in the low 40s by afternoon. If we do get any accumulating snow, we're talking about places like Boone. Highest elevations, west facing slopes might see a little bit in western Grayson County. Now after that, the next weather system that starts to push our way is this one. The storm tracks or pattern right now are going to be very southerly, which means the Gulf Coastal states stand a better chance of getting wet than we do. You can see Wednesday's map showing you the rain down at the south. We may catch a shower in here on Wednesday. Very small chance. And then again with the next weather system on Saturday, that also looks to be staying mostly to our south, but I have added at least a chance for a few showers on Wednesday. There's your seven day forecast. Looks like the last week of January.